Hi, everybody. This is Virginia Milner. Let me fix this camera a little bit better. There we go. This is Virginia Milner coming to you from the DeKalb County Library System. Let me scoot back here. Why is this so? Oh, that helps. And we have another program. And today we're going to make earrings. Yay. I thought I'd show you several different kinds of earrings that you can make pretty quick. Some of them are faster than others, but I just wanted to give you something that you can whip up um, if you um, have some little beads or I've got some uh, cute little, you, you've got my, maybe little charms or something like that. And you wanna make something really super simple and easy and quick and, and pretty to wear. So I'm calling this sweet to sassy. And we'll need our usual tools, round nose pliers, Square nose pliers, the round nose pliers are round all the way around with the barrel getting um, smaller as you get to the tip. The square nose pliers are slightly rounded on the outside, but perfectly flat on the inside. And that's what gives you your square shape. And we have cutters and they just cut wire or whatever it else you might need to clip, usually wire ruler for measuring your wire. And I'm using 20 gauge wire throughout for this. I'm also using just an assortment of beads. It's your choice as to what beads you wanna use, no specific sizes or anything like that. I'm using some bead chips. I'm also using some um, cute little shaped um, beads that I have and, and just wanted to use them. Um, I showed you a little butterfly. I think I have a little teddy bear or something like that. And um, I'm also going to show you how I, this one's front drilled from front to back. So I wanted to show you how to work with this. And this one's also drilled either front to back or side to side, however you want to wear it like that. So I wanted to show you how to make some different things with uh, those types of um, beads. This one's drilled straight through, and then we'll also use some little chips. Those of you who get kits uh, will be able to make three out of four of uh, the earrings that I'm going to show you how to do today. So let's get on down here to the mat and get started. Okay, the first one I thought I would do is this one that's drilled uh, from side to side. And it's not drill because of the way it's shaped. It's kind of the drill is really on the sides instead of going straight through. So I thought that would be kind of fun to play with because you don't see something like this very often. And sometimes you look at it like I didn't go, what the heck am I going to do with that? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to make a pair of earrings. And I had... Um, had a pair of earrings that I had made many years ago and couldn't remember how I did it. So I was playing with this to see if I could recreate that and uh, that's what we're going to do. So here I have a slightly oddly dr uh, drilled bead um, that's an interesting shape and I just wanna make earrings out of it because I, I don't know what else I could do with this except make a dangle. And it's big enough to make a pair of earrings. It's about three quarters of an inch. Actually, it's almost an inch. It's just under an inch, about seven eighths of an inch long. So that would make really great earrings. So what I've done is cut six inches of 20 gauge wire. I'm gonna feed it through this drilled part here. And I'm going to keep um, on this side, I'm just gonna keep uh, about an inch of wire because I'm going to make a use that part to make a loop and a little tiny wrap if I want either that or I'll just um, uh, loop it and not do anything with the um, top except make a loop. So I'm going to bring my wire up to the top, both of them, short and long. Bring it up to the top like that. Then I'm going to bring the long wire across the top just so that it's framing the top of my my bead and I'm going to wrap it around this short tail 
just wrapping around there. Nice and snug. So now I still have a frame around that little tip and it's wrapped around the little tail. So now I'm gonna hold on to this because I'm I, I'm gonna wrap down um, the front of my bead. So I'm just gonna wrap this around and I'm gonna hold on to the bead because this wants to wiggle because of the way it's made. So I'm gonna hold on to that bead and just push my wire around. until I get it to where it's not shifting anymore. It's going to take some patience. Let's push that around there. And I'm wrapping down from the top. You might feel like you need three hands, but you really don't. Just have to be patient. And this is not a, um, <laughs> this is not a standard wrap. It's kind of a, a, a really free form, um, what they call a messy wrap. So you don't have to worry about it being perfect. And then when I get it to where it's not shifting anymore, the top is kind of encased in the wire there. And now I can start really wrapping that down the way I want it. Let's get this a little bit closer so you can see what the heck I'm doing. A little bit better. There we go. So now I'm just wrapping the little tail. And if you want to squeeze that a little closer together, you can, but it really doesn't need to be. And I'm just going to wrap that around. Now I could stop here if I wanted to, but I'm going to just keep using up my wire until it's finished. And I'm going to take my pliers and push down that little tip. There we go. And so there's my little wrap. Pretty simple. And if you wanted to add more wire, you could and just keep on going. If you want to even go further down. But I just used six inches just to get the top of it wrapped. And now I'm going to go up here to the top, bend my wire back to make my little loop. And squeeze this down a little bit. And I just need a small loop. And one wrap around the top is all I need. A little smaller, there we go. Grab my square pliers and just wrap that little tail around the top under the loop. And it's very short. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other pliers to bring this little tail around. And then push down the end in between the other wraps. Just like so. And now all I need to do is put it on an ear wire. But isn't that neat? Very simple. <laughs> a very free form wrap. So I'm going to grab a Couple of inches of wire, just need two. And I'm just using copper wire. Okay, I'm gonna make a small loop on one end.
So I'm gonna grab the tip of my wire with the tip of my pliers and slide it down about an eighth of an inch. So I can make a really small loop and just gonna rotate my pliers, wrap my wire until I have a little loop. And this is one time that you don't need to adjust the loop. You can just keep it over on the side here. Then you can grab any round item that you have, or you can use like, this is not quite round, but it's good. I'm gonna use the side of my pliers and just put it back here in back of my loop and wrap that tail around my pliers, just like so. And then I'm going to shape my wire. Oops. Until I have a little ear wire. Cut off what I don't want hanging off of there. Down. And there's my little ear wire. I'm going to go ahead and take my pliers and put a little ledge on the, on the tip. Just a little bit. And there's my little ear wire. Open that up. Just lift it off to the side. Pop it on my earring. Right inside that loop, that loop inside the open loop. Close it up. And there's my first earring. <laughs> Isn't that cute? All right, earring number one. Okay, now I have this little leaf, I think it is, that's drilled from front to back. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, let's go on to the next one, that this one's drilled from front to back. I'm going to use that because this uh, little guy got cracked on the back. So I said, I'll go ahead and use it, make a pair of earrings. This is gonna be very simple. All I need is a couple of inches. This is about two, yeah, three, three inches. I don't think I need it all, but I think this is left over from something else. And all I need to do is feed my wire through, just like I did on the other one. I'm gonna give myself a short tail and a long tail. So I'm going to bring that up like so. And the little short tail, I'm going to wrap around the long one. And I only need one wrap. You can give yourself more wraps if you want. But I just need to secure that. I think I'll give myself two just because why not? I have, I have the wire. May as well use it. Okay, I'm going to clip off that little tail there, get rid of that, and push down that little end under the other wraps. A little more. There we go. Now, I could just go with that. This little bead is perfect. I mean, I could put that on the ear wire and that would be that. And you, you can do that. Or just pop on a couple of beads. I have these little, these little guys, just pop a couple of those on. And that just elevates it just a little bit. Doesn't have to be much, just a little. And now all I need to do is make a simple loop. So I'm gonna bend my wire back over to the side. Clip that down to about half an inch. Grab my round nose pliers. Slide my wire down about a quarter of an inch or so. And I'm gonna make a loop. So I'm gonna just twist my wrist that's holding the pliers. And don't try to go all the way around, just go about a third to half of the way around until, while it's comfortable and you can control it. Then open your pliers up, reposition them, 
Clamp back down, turn again, open, and just keep doing this until you have a loop. There it is. Now all I need is a couple of inches again to make an ear wire. Slide my wire down about an eh, eighth of an inch from the tip because I don't need too big a loop. Twist my wrist that has my pliers in it to make my loop. There we go. Slide my wire on the back or on the arm of my pliers. It's just convenient. It's right there. Use it. May as well use those pliers instead of trying to find some cylindrical item that you can use to make them. Just use your just use your pli your pliers arm and put that on the back behind my loop. It's trying to flip around on me. And wrap that tail around my pliers. And then shape it the way I want it. See, I have way too much. It really only takes about an inch and a half to two inches, depending on how long you want your tail to be, the tail of your ear wire to be. And just give it a nice little curve Clip off what you don't need. In this case, I'm, I'm going to lose a good three quarters of an inch. That's okay. That's okay. I'll deal with it. Make my little ledge there. There we go. I want to tell you, before you put these in your ears, you want to make sure and take a file. It could just be a regular nail file and round out these edges because you don't want to put this sharp edge in your ear uh, because that's going to be quite painful and not a good idea. So open that up, decide which is the front and the back. Like I said, I have a little chip on the back of mine, so I want this to be the front. Slide my ear wire on, close it up. Make sure it's nice and completely closed. And I see a little bit of an opening here. So I'm going to close that nice and tight. Oh, I put it on backwards because that's the back where the crack is. Let me open that up again. Turn it around. Slide it on because I want this to be going out the back. So slide that on. Close it up. Earring number two. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. Two pairs. Well, two earrings. I'll do the others. <laughs> And then the third one is going to be, this is a, just a little center drill charm-like little thing. It's a little butterfly. And I'm just going to make a very simple, I'm just going to put it on a, on a piece of wire. So all I need for that is about two inches. This is small. What I'm going to tell you is measure your bead. This one is about half an inch. And then add another um, inch and a half because that's all you need. We're just gonna do a very simple wrap. So inch and a half, two inches is all I need for this one. Give yourself whatever the measurement of the bead is and an additional inch and a half. So I need two inches. Okay, that off. All I need to do is I'm making a pen actually. I don't want to put anything decorative on this. I want the bead to speak for itself. So what I'm going to do is just make a teeny tiny half loop. So I'm going to grab the tip of my wire with the very tip of my pliers. And I'm going to go three quarters of the way around. That's it. I'm not going to close it up. 
That's as far as I'm going. And then I'm going to take my flat pliers and I'm going to squeeze this bottom of my loop towards the top of my loop to create a little nub. You're going to have to be very patient. There we go. I just wanted a teeny tiny little nub, not a loop, a nub. Okay. Then I'm gonna slide my bead on. I have two inches and look how much I didn't need. I'm only gonna use about a half an inch of that. So now I've got my little pen down there that's not taking away from my bead at all. I'm gonna bend the top. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this, why not? Because I have enough. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna make it a simple loop. I'm gonna bend that back, cut it down to half an inch. Two, and make a loop. Slide down about a quarter of the way down my pliers and rotate my plier hand a little bit. Reposition a little bit more. Reposition a little bit more until I have my loop. And there it is. I'm going to bend this back a little bit so it's a little more centered. I'm just going to place my pliers right on the inside of my loop in the back away from where the tip is. And I'm going to bend it back so that it's now centered. There. Now, I've showed you how to make the ear wire, so I'm not going to show you that again. All I need to do is pop it on my ear wire. Oops, get on there. Close it up. Instant earring. Isn't that cute? It's just cute. Earring number three. I don't know why I ended up with so much blue. Even the chips I'm about to use are blue. Eh, I don't know what happened there, but whatever. So now I'm going to grab two pieces of 20 gauge wire, six inches each. And I thought I would do something a little bit different. So what I want here is to do a little wrap. So I'm gonna give myself just enough at the top here um, for my little, uh, for my little uh, nub, or at the bottom, I guess I should say, for my little nub, and uh, then I'm going to wrap this, just because I just want to do something a little different. So I'm going to make a little nub down here at the bottom, just like I did on my little butterfly. Let's make a little three-quarter loop, grab my square pliers, squeeze that bottom to the top, there we go, got my little nub, Then I'm going to give myself about two inches of wire, two inches of bare wire. And I'm going to bend my wire off to the side, like so. And I'm going to make a loop. So I'm going to slide my wire down about a quarter of the way down my pliers. Then I'm going to bring that long tail of wire over the top of my pliers and down the side so that it is parallel with the um, looped wire. Reposition my pliers and bring the wire under my pliers 
and out to the side from where my stem is here. Then I'm going to grab my square pliers, hold on to the face of my loop, and I'm going to wrap down my little stem. I forgot something now, so I'm gonna have to correct it. <laughs> I was supposed to add beads, but that's okay. I can add those in a minute. So what I'm going to do is just wrap. Okay. That's enough for now because I need to correct this now. I've closed this and I didn't put my beads on. Virginia. Okay, so now I just need to snip this off. Don't do it this way. Do it the right way. Snip that off. And I'm going to put some beads on there. What do I want? I think I would like, let's go with a couple of these little guys. I just got these chips. I have lots and lots of chips and I'm always looking for things to do with them. And I hear other people say the same thing. I have all of these chips left over from a project or just there. What do I do with them? Well, let's make some earrings. I'm going to plop a couple, a couple of these chips on. Oh, and the fun part is figuring out where the heck they're drilled. And because they're a little bit unstable, you have to have a bunch of them in case one of them breaks. Okay, so there's a couple of those. I'm going to put one of these little guys on. Let's put this little one on. And let's put another one of these on. And let's see if this will fit. Oh, yeah, just good enough. And now I need to remake my little nub. Like I said, you don't have to do it like this. I, I messed up. But now... You know how to correct your mistake. Don't keep going. Stop until you get to the point where you can add your beads. So now I'm going to make my little nub. And I just need about a half an inch in order to make my nub. Not even that. Go three quarters of the way around. I have my square pliers. Squeeze my little nub. Go. There. And now I'm just going to wrap the rest of this around to finish it off. I just need another wrap. Actually, I don't need another wrap. This, this is probably enough. I'm going to give it another one because I have this wire and I hate to waste it. That's good enough. Let's clip off that little tail. And push down that little tip so that it won't scratch anything or anyone. Now, I could stop there. This would make a great earring. But let's do a double. I'm going to do a second one. So I'm going to do my little nub. This time I'm going to do it right so that I can show you. I showed you what not to do. Now I'm going to show you what to do. Make my little nub. Again, grab the tip with the tip. Make a three-quarter turn. Grab my square pliers. Squeeze that down. 
into a little nub. Next, grab your beads. Slide a bead on. Slide another bead on if you want. You can use one chip, you can use two chips. You can use several chips like I did with this one. Okay. And I'm gonna go an inch and a half for this one because I'm gonna make this one shorter. Yeah, I'm gonna um, make it a little shorter so that it's a little more interesting instead of hanging them both the same way. So I'm gonna go an inch and a half away from top of my beads, I think. Just a little shorter so that I'll hang a little shorter than this one. Yeah. So what is that? I wanted to go right about there. That's about an inch and yeah, not quite an inch and a half from the top of my beads. Yeah, about an inch and a half, about an, maybe an inch and three eighths from the top of my bead. I'm gonna bend my wire. Yeah, let's make it a little bit shorter. I really want it to be a graduated dangle. There we go. And that's about an inch and a quarter, I think. Put a bead around there. Yes. Okay. I'm going to make my little loop slide down about a quarter of a way from the tip. Bring my long tail over the top and down the side, like so. Reposition my pliers and bring that tail the rest of the way around until I have a loop. Let's check it again. Yes, nicely graduated, a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to wrap. Grab the face of my, my wire and wrap that tail around and down the stem. until I get to the bottom. I'm gonna flip it around because I think it's easier to see this way because this hand is covering everything up. I want you to see what I'm doing. And this is going to bend. This is very malleable wire, but you can straighten it out later if it starts to bend on you. And the more you work with it, the more work hardened it gets. So you get to a certain point and it goes, hey, I think I'm gonna get nice and stiff. And I don't wanna turn around here anymore. But you just show it who's boss. And if you need to, use your pliers to squeeze that a little tighter around your stem and hold on to it. Just kind of choke up on, on it. And instead of trying to wrap it from out here, push from closer to the wire. I think that's a lot easier than trying to wrap it from the tip because this is going to pull and bend and to prevent more bending, just do it more controlled. Use more controlled movements. And by controlled, I mean choke up on it nice and close and push the wire around instead of trying to pull the wire around. Okay, I'm almost where I'm going to stop.
And you don't have to fill this whole stem if you don't want to with um, the little corkscrew. You can stop halfway down if you want to. You can go all the way down if you want to. It's entirely your aesthetic as to how you want to do this. Now I'm down here at the bottom and I still have wire left. So I think I'm just going to keep wrapping and just make a little a big wrap down here. Because I have the wire to do it and I'm just, I don't want to waste any more wire. So I'm just going to keep wrapping. Just for the heck of it. until we get tired of doing it. All right, I think that is going to do it, especially since I just crap, cracked my little, my little bee. These are so unstable that you have to be careful. These little chips. All right, let's cut that off. And push down that little tip. Don't want any scratching, thank you very much. There we go. Here's my second one. If I have to straighten out my little thing, that's okay. And look, now all I need is an ear wire. Too bad this isn't long enough, oh well. Two inches is all I need to make my little ear wire. I've already done one of these, so I want to match. <laughs> okay, so make my little loop. Just like we did the others. Grab the side of my pliers, put it behind my loop, and wrap that around. Come on, work with me. Got a little twisty. I'm gonna have to twist it back. And if this gets twisted out of shape, just turn it until it's going the direction that you want. Make my little curve to shape my ear wire. Put my little notch in the bottom. Match it up with the other one. Make sure they look about the same. Yes, cut that off. A little notch in there. And there's my ear wire. Open it up. I want these to be mirror image, so this one has the short one on the left and the long one on the right. So this one, I'm gonna put the long one, the short one on the right and the long one on the left. So the short one goes on first, long one goes on second. And close up my ear wire. And there's my earring. There we go. And there you have it. Four earrings. And 
Easy peasy. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that great? Those of you who get kits, again, will get either the front, um, the one that's drilled front to back or the one that's drilled side to side. Actually, that could be front to back too, but you'll get one top drilled, one that's drilled all the way through, and you'll get some chips so that you can make this little guy right here. This is a little bit better. Let's bring that out a little bit more. Yay! I'm wearing these today. I like them a lot. But there you are. Four types of earrings, really quick and easy. Did it in what, 45 minutes or so? And um, I did it on camera, so it takes longer. So you could probably get four pairs of earrings done easily in an hour. Those of you who get kits, I'm challenging you to get these done in 45 minutes. And show me the pictures because I want to see them. But there are our earrings, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here. Hi, there I am. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will let me know what you think and what you thought and that you will make these. Um, if you want to get in contact with me, my email is jewelrygen20 at gmail.com. That's J-E-W-E-L-R-Y-2-0 at gmail.com. You can also drop a comment on the library Facebook page, which is decab, which is facebook.com slash decab library. That's facebook.com. I'm coming. Slash D-E-K-A-L-B-L-I-B-R-A-R-Y. Or you can go to the YouTube page, which is YouTube slash decab library and you can pull up all of the entire playlist of these videos and you can leave a comment on this one and let me know how things went how how the um I, here's one thing that i've discovered i have um, discovered that the smaller the screen the clearer the picture i tried one of these uh, because I had people going, oh, it's all wavy. And I've tried that too. I usually run it back on my um, laptop to see how it looks. And it usually looks fine to me. But I tried it on my big um, desktop and it was so unclear. I mean, the picture was not clear. And um, I thought, oh, wow, that's very strange because I just looked at this. So what I did was take my phone and my laptop top and I did a frame to frame. And I noticed uh, an Im immense difference between the quality of the picture from my phone to my laptop. And I didn't haul my laptop up to where my, um, my other computer was, but I did take the phone up there and there is an even bigger difference in the quality of the, the visuals. Um, so the smaller the screen, the better it's going to be. If you have a tablet, it's probably better on there. Um, so all I can tell you is just try different mediums to see what works for you. And um, send me some feedback. Let me know what you think, what you thought, and if any of this is working for you. And I hope so. I need both good and bad feedback, especially the bad, because that way I'm able to make make corrections if necessary. So until I until we meet again, I hope you have a good week and a great weekend and we will see you later. Bye bye.